Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a celeb inspired makeup look. I'm going to be basing it off this photo of Khloe Kardashian. I absolutely love this photo. When I saw it, I was like, yes, I need to do this. So if you guys are interested on seeing that, then please keep watching. So to begin, I'm taking my Mario Bradescu Rose Water Spray and just spritzing this all over my face. It's going to act as a nice refresher to my skin, kind of prep it for my foundation. And then we have on our eyebrows ready, I did the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Chocolate. Then going in with some foundation to go ahead and get a clean canvas for my skin. I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade Linen and just dotting it all over my face. I love this stuff. It's definitely moderate to full coverage, but I just love the end result how it looks and it just makes your skin look super porcelain but you could still see your skin which I really like so I'm just gonna be blending that away with a damp beauty sponge just once by Real Techniques and yeah just evenly distributing this all over Also keep in mind I am paler than Chloe is in this photo. She is super tan, but I am just basing this off the entire makeup look. I thought it would be perfect for spring and summer that is approaching us. And pretty much this is like my everyday foundation routine actually. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. For some concealing, I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm absolutely in love with this. I use it all the time. I'm sorry, but it's great. So I'm putting this all over in a V motion underneath my eyes to kind of conceal and brighten and hide up any darkness as well as down the bridge of my nose by my cupid bow and my chin to go ahead and conceal but as well brighten. It's not too much of a brightening shade but it definitely does the trick for me. So then I'm just going to blend that out with the opposite side on that beauty sponge. It has like a flat edge. So to go ahead and set all of that, I'm taking my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder and I'm just going to go ahead and put it underneath my natural contour. So where I would normally contour my cheekbones, I'm going to place it right underneath and underneath my eyes as well as my forehead and a little bit by my nose. This is going to control oil, going to mask all the pores and just set everything in place. So this is the term baking. I've never really done it before and I don't really find the purpose of it but I wanted to try something new and you know experiment so that's what we're doing here and after a few minutes go by I'll go ahead and sweep it away with a nice a fluffy brush then going in with MAC Expresso eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheekbones and bring it onto the temples and the sides of my face as well as contour my nose this is a ashier brown contouring shade it's an eyeshadow but I like to use it for contouring just because it's ashier it's more cool tone and I feel like it's a lot natural looking on my skin a lot of bronzers pick up being really orange and I don't really like that look. So to go ahead and contour, I'm using this and then going to go ahead and apply more with a bigger brush so we have a nice deeper glow. And then to further contour up my nose and just the sides of my face again or by my temples and stuff like that, I'm using the NARS Itta Brush just because it has a defined edge on it and if you want to have a structured look, I always recommend to kind of go for a brush that's a little bit more dense like this. So that's what I'm doing. And then I like to go in with a nice big fluffy brush just to blend it all together and add a little bit more additional product. So again, this look was really like bronzy and glowy, so I'm trying to replicate that. If you didn't want to add that much bronzer, you definitely do not have to. Alright, so moving on over to the eyes, I'm taking the shade Espresso and Black mixed together from the Lorac Pro Palette, and I'm using it on a precise little brush from Sigma, and I'm going to be running this on my lower lash line. So I did not use a primer for this eyeshadow look. You definitely could, but I just kind of used the concealer and leftover foundation that's on my face to kind of act as that. So I'm taking the brown and black color in that Lorac Pro Palette as well and running it in my crease area on my eye. Now this look, I'm just kind of making it go like a little messily. I'm not really making it too precise or anything like that. From what I see in the photo, it just looks like a nice sultry eye. So I just took it upon myself to and of course, if you use a primer, it's going to adhere a little bit better, but I kind of just wanted to free it and just wing it. So this is what we're doing. I'm just running this from outer to inner corner, kind of getting the majority of the product in the outer corner area because the way that she's looking in the photo, I see a lot of that product being on the outer corner. And I'm just going to keep on mixing that brown and black shade to my desired look and just build it up gradually. 
So I couldn't really see her lid in this photo, but I didn't want to leave the lid color just bare. So I took the Carly Bible palette and the second shade in here, which is a nice shimmery, kind of like rose gold s color. I'm just putting this right there on my lid and just kind of blending it in effortlessly and into my inner corner, as well as underneath my brow bone, just so I have like that glowy effect. This has a really nice shimmer to it. So to add some more darkness to this look because it is a little bit sultry and definitely is more on the smokier look, I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Liner and this is an ultra black and running it on my lower waterline. I'm just running this pretty much all over that area and a little bit below my waterline so it looks a little bit more smoky. Taking these Kiss Lily lashes, I'm gonna apply them to my eyes. She has really fluttery big lashes in this look so I'm going to pop those on and place some It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, which is in super black, right over them, as well as on my bottom lashes, just to make all of that pop and stand out and look super duper black. So to get that beautiful highlight that she is rocking in this photo, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm using the Gleam one as much as I mentioned it on my channel. I know it is my favorite, so bear with me, but uh, yeah, she definitely has a lot of glowing going on in this photo as well as all the time. But I'm going to be taking the shade Mimosa and Crushed Pearl, kind of mixing them together on a stippling brush and just placing that all over the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, pretty much bathe in it. And then just to be somewhat extra, I'm taking the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and placing it over top of that highlight we just put, just to give a little bit extra oomph and more glowiness to the face. To top off this look, I'm going to be using two different lip colors to go ahead and complete this. Her look is super natural looking, very nude but is definitely a gloss. So I'm taking the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Caramello to kind of give a base on my lips to get that nude shade. And then going over top of it with Girard Cosmetics Shimmer of Hope Gloss. And I love this combo. I love these colors. They're totally me. And then that completes the entire look. So that wraps up my Chloe K inspired makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, maybe found it a little helpful. This look is super easy, affordable, and just like a go-to look. If you want to have like that sultry eye, glowy, healthy looking skin. So I loved doing this video. I hope that you guys did as well. And I think that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.